guys it's not even a joke anymore it's not a joke anymore i am late hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Anne, and today i'm planning to do a reading vlog but who knows it might be like a spend a sunday with me because i do have like a few things to do today i'm gonna have to pick up my mom's friends order from can't remember the brand i'm also gonna bring this book it's the summer trials by aiden thomas i've mentioned this book and my updates on my november reads i think Something I should tell you guys. I went to John Sandos right and I didn't buy a book. I got I saw John sign back he's been doing searching for the book for quite a while. I saw the font and I saw the thickness and I'm just intimidated. I'm not gonna buy it yet. So then what I did next was I searched for RF funds that they said they could order it for me. But I'm like, you know what? It's fine. So you didn't do an impulse purchase. It's such a good thing. Almost at the downtown stop. I'm already late, but I don't wanna get up. Outside the city's painted gray. Are we in like a pack of sardine? Oh, we, we cannot, cannot escape. escape. We, we cannot, cannot come out. out. Mama. Me. So important. It is so important. I'll be so fast right now. Oh, we need to take this off. It's hot. It's so hot. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We're gonna move a little closer. I know, like the previous clip I talked about books was me going to a bookstore and then say I'm so proud. I didn't do an impulse purchase. But you know what? I was walking all the. I was walking from John from John Sandoz to Uniqlo and then I saw a word best out. Best belief, best belief, you, your girl just had to go into the store. Went to the K part there wasn't any Kuang. I, I was like hmm you know what maybe they don't have um the Dragon Republic because I did go to Falls a few days before searching for the Dragon Republic and then Falls don't have it in stock and you even check it like whether like Waterstones have the book in stock and Waterstones don't have it as well when I went to Waterstones today I had really really low hope you know I had low expectations and I was really like you know what if we don't have the Dragon Republic today it's fine so I went to the bookseller to one of the water stones employee and I was like do you have the Dragon Republic by RF Kuang and then she's like oh let me check and then she do her kitty kitty you know on the computer and she's like oh, we have one copy left I'm like oh you're lying and she was like yeah we do just go to the science fiction and she brought me to the part that that's the Dragon Republic the one <laughs> did you not I literally most of the time I try to control my emotions in front of people that I don't know like I don't emote as much but like when she so show me oh that's the Dragon Republic I literally audibly like ah! you have to know because like what happened was when I was at Falls and I couldn't find the book and then I called um I called Forbidden Planet I was like hi do you have uh <clears throat> the, the Dragon Republic in stock and then uh the person who answered he was like yeah I think we do but let me check first and then he checked and there wasn't any Did you have like the first and the third one? I did not care I just wanted to read So when I went to all the today and they have like a You, you are Since it's gonna be a reading vlog Let me update you a bit about uh, the sun About <laughs> the sun Better trials by Aiden Thomas I'm halfway through the book There's something about this main character He 
he's so stubborn he's so stubborn and it's not like you know sometimes stubbornness can be endearing but his stubbornness is just annoying but like the more i read the book the more i feel like you know what this main character he's like me for real maybe i don't like him because it's like he's so much like me oh my god he he's so stubborn he doesn't want to be civil he's so open with his emotions you see like the difference between the hunger games that the hunger games has just like one big game and then they just stay in that game for the whole time but like the sun tiles as the name i suggest it it's like they have like lots of trials so you have like trial and then something happening in between and then trial and then something happening in between so i don't know i feel like i don't i'm hmm, i kind of vibe with it but also not and also because like the trial is just it just it, it lasts really short it lasts like about 10 to 12 minutes like that so hmm. this book is very helpful because of the fact that i am in sort of a reading slump ish so it's nice to read like a really light, relatively light YA. Uh, it makes me feel less old. Also yesterday, I watched Matilda, the musical, the movie um, with a friend of mine and I watched the play and I cried like so many times basically like when I was watching the play I was just like crying and it's also like when <laughs> it's so funny because when I watch the play at that time I really only started working as a teacher which is like really new so um, seeing kids performing on stage and all of these high performing kids doing dances singing acrobatic just like really adult things that makes me so emotional yeah i watched the movie yesterday with my friend and it was literally the best thing ever guys both have something to offer if you ask me like which one is better i feel like I kind of like the play way too much I would say like the play is better but I will also say that definitely do watch the movie because the movie brings so much depth to all of the characters especially like Miss Honey the fact that she's black and which makes my house even more impactful and also because like in movies you get close-ups you know like compared to like when you're in a play sorry when you're in a theater it really depends on, uh, it really depends on your seats. I hope I pronounced that right. But Lashana Lynch as Miss Honey is literally the best, biggest thing they ever thought to cast as. Like, she, oh, the way that she portrayed Miss Honey is indescribable. Oh, and by the end of the movie, they added like a new song that's not in the play, which is still holding my hand. Oof. I just went out, sobbed. Such a sad, sad, sad song. Like, who allowed them to write this song, honestly? I might be overhyping it because Matilda has a very special place in my heart. Matilda as in the story Roald Dahl's Matilda because Roald Dahl's sort of like children's for just stories for children it's just basically what makes me a reader in the first place because the teacher recommended uh, Roald Dahl's collection to me and I think Matilda was the first one that I started with honestly so Matilda is like a very special place it just holds like a lot of nostalgia to me like it holds a lot of nostalgia to the point that i don't want to watch the movie because i know that the movie is not as likely like the book because the movie is sort of like americanized i have blabbered way too much do you watch matilda right guys i am actually running late as i always do to be fair speaking about being late i noticed that on tiktok especially starting the video with i'm running late i'm running late receives a lot of traction which is so funny because i feel like a majority of people do not like um people being late 
but i feel like the reason why uh these videos receive a lot of attraction it's because watching other people being late i guess gives people who are late aka including me sort of like a justification satisfaction i guess like the problem is not them there are a lot of people that are late but let's be honest we all know that maybe we are the problem also a few days ago i saw this um psychologist video he made a uh, he, uh, he research about you know like why does this sort of like videos for example like for being late um um people excessive consuming something people actually don't want this video to go viral they would rather they would rather it not go viral actually it's something about those videos people doing you know things that we don't really condone as a society it just attract them and the algorithm knows this so the algorithm push it up more and then you see it more and then you are forced to interact it interact with it because you just just something so appealing about people doing that you know i'm running late i don't know why i decided to or well, i'll put the link of the research uh down below if i'm able to find it again but yeah i am running late i don't know why i thought like it's such a good idea to be talking about you know psychology research <gasps> Did you remember where we are late we are late. almost got hit by a van and the fun apparently right now i'm grocery shopping and for some reason there are no eggs which is so weird so this is like the most basic thing Amazing motion picture, anyways. But this one is 11 pounds. I mean, this one is 7 pounds. What the actual fuck? Oh, I love this one as well. Oh, no. Well, we have new books and that means a book haul is coming, it's always fun. Guys, it's not even a joke anymore. It's not a joke anymore. I am late. I don't know what's going on on the scene. Actually, I do know what's going on. I'm experiencing burnout, so I just dread waking up, you know, so... 
what you do when you learn, I guess. Ladies, we woke up early. But at what cost? <laughs> Hi everyone, so I have some time, I have like 5 minutes to spare before I go down and have my breakfast and everything and I realised that I haven't done a book checkup. I'm more than halfway through. Okay, so I feel like with this book, it's like I mentioned, it's pitch as uh, The Hunger Games meets Percy Jackson and I understand where it comes from. So the thing about this book is that I just feel like it's very low stakes, like nobody... <laughs> Nobody is dying. I am unfortunately at that at that age that the only thing in the girl's mind is homicide. I want death, commit crimes, <laughs> be heinous. And like I understand why nobody is dying, and why like dying is an exactly like a central part to the book. And the the book is obviously bringing something entirely new other than the Hunger Games but I feel like because people were promoting this as the Hunger Games meets Percy Jackson I was expecting some high stakes death the the trials are also just very short you also got like time spent outside the trial and I was just I want more of a trial so we don't get much action this book explore more about the dynamics the hierarchies of like being a a jade dem, uh, demigods and also a gold demigods it i would say it's like closer to my hero academia to be honest regarding like the love story it's slowly 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 forming i just realized that it's actually a sort of like a slow burn situation our main character and the love interest it, sort of have like this like unsettled history between them so they were like childhood friends and then they grew apart and then they become rivals because they were both selected and then they became sort of like a forced proximity situation but not like forced proximity to be in a small physical space sort of like forced to interact situation and they sort of like start to become civil with each other by day, I mean our main character because the love interest is completely fine. He's like, if anything, he wants to reconnect. But our main character, bless him, but the boy is so stubborn. And hopefully to lovers, but I have a feeling that this book is not going to end with them being lovers. Because um, it, it is a duology and the second book hasn't been released yet. One thing I don't understand about this book is that the one I'm reading is already like the fourth trial. The thing that I don't understand is that our main character, he is always like the kind of person that like he jumps into like situations head first. But this time around, it's already like the fourth trial. So it's always, I don't know, if you're already like in the fourth trial, you will probably already think, start to think about like, you know, as soon as you receive the mission should already be thinking about strategies you know but he never really thinks about that which is so weird because he he sees like the other competitors started to talk among themselves and then like you know think about strategies and stuff but he never done the same as well so it did sound like why this isn't being to you guys it is very important it is very imperative that you know that I make a banging matcha. I think I will be able to finish the Sunday Terrors tonight. Okay. Okay, wish for me. Wait. Let's do a um uh, what? Like a 90% sabah? Sabah sabah. Guys, like what a slapulous major twist that was oh i didn't see it coming i did not see it coming hi everyone so i have finished the sunbury trials by aiden thomas and here's my verdict on it i give this a solid 3.5 i wanted to give it a four stars but it just wasn't what i was expecting really so i think i had too high of an expectations when i went into it because it was pitched as thg sorry the hunger games meeting Percy Jackson and even though I've never read Percy Jackson, I've watched the movie and even though the movie is badly done but I get the gist of it. So I was expecting like 
a lot and also because I'm very much in the hung I'm very much a Hunger Games girly. I would say like it's a pretty bold move for the author to promote this book as what I would argue as the two most influential YA series out of all the you know YA series from like 2014 circa 2014 2016 ish I understand why because it has the vibes but at the same time because of that as well I just had like really high expectations and it didn't meet my expectations also because like I feel like the writing it's YA but it feels more middle grade not that it's a bad thing but it just wasn't what I was expecting I've mentioned about I think I've mentioned about the stakes being low um, despite being like literally when all five trials and there will be someone that will die I just feel like the dire of the situation just wasn't stressed enough I don't feel like the desperation of each character even though they do talk about it but it's just it doesn't feel dire if that makes sense I don't feel like it's important I keep on forgetting that there will be someone that will actually die the pace of the book just feels very very slow to me to be honest but the few last pages especially what happened after the the very last trial it was just the momentum was great the pages were turning I was like literally on the edge of my seat I was like oh my god like what is gonna happen and there's like a sort of like a plot twist at the end which is very nicely done and uh, it really makes me excited to pick up the next book even though I didn't like rate this like really relatively high rating another thing that I like about this book is that diversity diversity and inclusivity is so 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 normalized in this universe which makes it really nice despite that it also provides a lot of nuance on like um, the self-identity slash self-expression specifically on about how people may cross boundaries whether it's intentional whether it's appropriate or like whether it's covert like it's it's just really nice um and it makes me really happy that these are the kind of books that the kids will be reading nowadays the fantasy world the the physical setting of this book is very co cozy and it's very magical, it's very whimsical. The issue in this book is that it's more societal, I guess. So you have like, you know, the hierarchies and how it affects the people living in it. But those societal issues does not translate into the physical settings, which is, I don't know, it's, I understand that you don't have to have it, but I just feel like it's not it just feels a bit too magical it just feels almost unrealistic when the physical settings are not affected by the tangible issues that the people in this world are facing but yeah that's my verdict of the book we are late ah! hi everyone it's 7 ish am we woke up annoyingly early despite it being a weekend today around 9 ish we're gonna go out to go to the british library to meet our friends and do some well they're gonna study we're not ladies and gentlemen boys and girls there is absolutely nothing new in my life we are late again i totally lost track of time i woke up early as i mentioned but i honestly thought that i had the luxury call time so I was really like taking things so now I was cleaning my room I was cleaning my bathroom I was making big breakfast and then suddenly it was already 9.45 and I am late I was with my friend Jen and now it's 10 I'm still not out of the house yet and I am a big bit here this is you are here Look who has come now. We are unfortunately people that we don't know. I don't know why. Like this day's time isn't real to me anymore. I'm just late. Well, for work, it's just that I want to be late. I don't want to be there early. Or like, this is me. I don't understand why am I like just gonna cover the number of my house. I don't know why. We are late. We literally know we can walk.
Please, please.